I've got to do things a little bit differently this year because we've got quite a lot of video content. So being the video man, I have to operate it from here. So I do apologise for not being on the stage. So Mike, you can kill the stage lights, I think. There you go. Nice. Uh, I'm James Jones, the youngest trustee on the board, but I've been a member of REACH for about 25 years. As I mentioned last year, I'm very happy to talk about my own life and experiences if you'd like to come and find me at lunchtime or outside of the main sessions. But right now, I'm up here talking about some new initiatives, how we're keeping up with social media, and I want to talk about some videos we're producing. Now, 2014 has been a challenging year for REACH in terms of keeping track of its growth, putting new systems in place, in place to accommodate the growth in membership, and following the dramatic expansion in our social media presence. Um, the membership database REACH staff rely on was based on a very old system. It uh, very much needed an overhaul, and over the past year, we've been migrating our entire membership onto a new system that allows a lot more flexibility and has a lot more features. Dealing, in, dealing with a migration of that size without the budget of a massive ID de IT department uh, to support, we've hit issues and people have slipped through the cracks. We're finally heading in the right direction and are getting close to having a membership database that works for everyone. And that will eventually let you know when your membership is up for renewal. And we're also going to be enabling direct debits as a form of payment, removing the paperwork and manpower needed to keep track of the hundreds of standing orders and checks received every year. We really appreciate your, your patience and tolerance, but hopefully you can understand how frustrating it is for us too. Now, REACH has two presences on Facebook. It has an open page for the public to visit to find out about the charity, learn a little bit about what we do, and to find contact details for more information. Like a page, uh, it's a page that people can like and follow. But we also have a closed Facebook group, which, hang on. This is uh, the Facebook VT. Uh, on the screen is some of the content of the closed Facebook group. I'm sure you'll also agree that with such personal information going onto a forum with only one line of defense, it's very important that head office are able to confidently allow members to join the group whilst making sure that the unwanted characters such as devotees are not allowed in. For those that aren't aware, devoteeism is another name for a fetish in which people derive pleasure from people missing limbs. Now, Charlotte Fielder, hopefully she's here this year, is a very knowledgeable resource for online safety and we appreciate everything she's helped out with in the discussion and uh, raising awareness of this problem. Hopefully you can see where what I've been talking about marries together. For people to enjoy the safety and security as well as the benefits of the closed Facebook group, Head Office has to rely on the membership database to tell us who is eligible to join. For new members, it's easy for them to tell us every member of their family they'd like to benefit from what the group has to offer. But members that were with us before that database migration may have missed out the chance to give us everyone's name and we only have a primary contact for them. To help us abo avoid confusion, and if you'd like to join this group, please email Joe Dixon at Head Office asking for the link to the group and let us know the name of the REACH member you're related to. Uh, I'd like to now jump to a topic that you will have seen lightly reported in the national press, but is very rapidly becoming the most amazing unknown resource. Enable is a group of individuals, over 1,500 engineers, artists, makers, students, parents, occupational therapists, prosthetists, gar garage tinkerers, designers, I'm copying this off their website, um, garage tinkerers, designers, teachers, creatives, and philan philanthropists with one core mission and belief to create open source designs for mechanical hand assistive devices that can be downloaded and 3D printed for less than 40 pounds in materials. Uh, Enable was formed when a scenic prop maker and a carpenter designed a simple prosthetic to be shipped out to a little boy in South Africa called Liam. And as they themselves said, that's when the seed was planted and since then it's only been branching out further and further. This is an amazing example of crowdsourcing. Anyone at all can get involved with this project, from the engineers coming up, to, we're coming up with adaptive adaptions to improve functionality, artists working on the aesthetics, like um, this one. Where is that? Where do I put it? There. Uh, this, uh, an Iron Man hand uh, that's fully functional with, uh, with lights and sounds, but not real lasers, unfortunately. Uh, there we go. It's not limited to people with an engineering background or artistry. Simply owning a 3D printer could make you a valuable part of the community. It's estimated that over 100,000 3D printers are out there in the world right now. And it's uh, as simple as printing a Word document as it is to print the components to a prosthetic. 
The community elements allow everyone to be one little step in a process that changes the lives of children all over the world. The majority of the designs that have been made are for children with a partial wrist with at least 30 degrees of up and down movement. Uh, these are the prosthetics that cost around 40 pounds in materials, but there are also designs for a full myoelectric arm costing around 180 pounds. The community of garden shed engineers also take on individual cases and are so welcoming to applications for bespoke prosthetics and encourage anyone who could benefit from the project to apply. We absolutely love the direction this is going and I'm proud to be a member of that community. So, want to get involved? Your first step should be to join eNables Facebook and Google Plus group. Then fill in their new member form and the link on the screen, there is not a link on this screen. But uh, I'll also post the link in the Reach Facebook group. I can't wait to see what happens next with this group. I'm very excited to see your success stories. We'd love to follow you on that journey and document it on video for our resources and to give something back to the eNable community too. Right, I'm not sure if you remember my little section last year. It was very much like this one. Little bits and pieces of content, but I also introduced a concept that was being discussed on the board at the time. It was a series of videos to go along with some guides being written, documenting members' experiences with the charity and reaching certain milestones in life. I was so pleased with the feedback I personally received. People were coming up to me over the rest of the weekend to give their input and what should be included. And I'm very proud to say that earlier this year, a series of six videos were commissioned. They were entitled Discovery, Visiting a Limb Center, Riding a Bike, Journey Through School, Driving a Car, and we also wanted to put together a short introduction to the whole charity for fundraising and website purposes. Now, these videos are different to most projects in the sense that they're gonna be a constant work in progress because as we've learned, there's no end to the conversations that we are a part of. There's no right or wrong, and we're very keen for everyone's voice to be heard if they have an opinion or an experience to share. Today, we're launching four of the videos. They'll be playing in the exhibition area throughout the breaks, so please take a look. Now, I do have one ask for this section. The video that we've produced about discussing your child's discovering your child was born with a limb difference is lacking the views and experiences of parents that have discovered at their child's 20-week scan. So if you would be happy to talk about your experiences, please let me or Joe know. The take-home message of that video in particular is that every single REACH parent has experienced the shock and roller coaster of emotions that come with a discovery. And sometimes all they need is just to hear the voice and experience of someone that's experienced the shock, lived through it, and is now enjoying watching everything their child achieves.